Okay, back at it again. I have 107 grams of uh, egg whites, two eggs, one uh, slice of Ezekiel. And I'm thinking about trying over the next two weeks to track my calories, watch, see my weight, and see if I'm at maintenance or see what my maintenance calories is because I'm pretty much at maintenance because I weighed myself three days ago. I weighed myself again. I tend to be around the same weight. Um, I'm doing this because if I want to cut, right, I got to know what my baseline is to cut from. If I want to do a, a gain, I need to know what my baseline is. Um, so right now I'm at 226 pounds and six ounces, or sorry, 226.6. Uh, and that's what I was on the, the scale this morning. So <clears throat> it's a beautiful morning. As mentioned, I'm thinking, and I use the word thinking, about tracking my calories for two weeks and seeing where I end up. My maintenance, or what is my maintenance, is more so the question. Um, so, the only caveats I have in my head, and maybe they're excuses, <laughs> or maybe they're just caveats in reality, is I am going out to lunch tomorrow. And who knows what I'll eat. Not meaning like who knows what I'll eat. Uh, I'm not going to go nuts or anything. But who knows what the calories are in that meal. I won't have my scale, of course. Um, I could probably ballpark it and use an app. But that could be 300 calories off. 500 calories off. Or maybe not 500. But I've got something behind me. So, there's that day. <clears throat> and then the next day's Thursday. I'm going to a concert. So I'll have a couple beers. Um, I can put the beers into the app. I guess I could put the beers in the app. And that could be accurate. Now granted, it might not be exact. Because... Maybe I have this beer or that beer and it's not trackable in the app. And I don't even know how accurate the calories are for beers in these apps because I don't know if breweries and whatnot, beer companies actually publicize their calories. I know light beers do. Let's see how bright this is. Hmm, pretty bright. But... Anyways, and then the next day's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. What I'm, I think I'm going to try it because I feel like there's this reality of always there being something. Um, even though when I think, I think there's going to be a time when there isn't, but there's always something pop, you know, there's always life happening and going out to lunch, going to see a show, um, et cetera, et cetera. Having a dinner at my family, uh, at my uh, brother and sister-in-law's, I'm not going to bring my scale there, so let's do it. I should get an okay reading of what my uh, calories are, and yeah, okay, just going to finish up my morning walk here, try to get about 1,500 to 2,000 steps right after breakfast. Okay, random test, let's see how much butter I put on a slice of Ezekiel. Now granted, this is a slightly um, truncated piece of Ezekiel. 
I'm gonna guess seven grams. Way off with four. Just do a little more because I'm missing that one little part. I mean, way off. Three grams. Maybe I would do five on a normal slice that wasn't uh, cut up. Anyways. I guess the point I was trying to make is um, oh, what's four, five, six grams of butter? It's barely anything. Let me check it in calories. So five grams of butter is 36 calories. If you're like uber watching calories on everything, it'd make a difference, but a little butter on your bread just makes life a little better. I'm gonna drop a little salt in my water. I, I still do unsalted butter to harken back to the days when I tried to keep my sodium low because I thought that was good for you. And I did have a blood test and it said my sodium was low. So, I'm gonna add a little bit to my water. So I just got some news from my doctor. I never mentioned, I have ankle problems. It's probably, I have really odd feet. And obviously I'm very tall, seven feet tall. <clears throat> I, warning, what you're about to see is somewhat disturbing. I'm gonna show you my feet. So if you don't wanna see my feet, fast forward about uh, 10 seconds. So I have an extremely high arch in my feet. Um, that's how it is. And that has caused pain in my ankle, actually below my ankle. It's this little thing here. If I was to show you my other foot, well, I can, but it's not as big in that section or swollen or something. So the doctor says I have I had an MRI, I had inflammation, and a bunch of little tears. Not like a big tear, like a ligament tear. Um, I don't know, I'd call it like fracture tears, like little, little tears throughout parts of my ankle or below my ankle. I've had that for a very long time. Just got an MRI this week. Just got the results today. And when I told him I was doing 8,000 steps a day, well, he's like, basically, that's not going to help because it needs to heal. If you don't let it heal, it's never going to get better. Um, so I'm going to try to do a little bit more biking uh, and that sort of thing, which is a little frustrating because 8,000 steps is easy to determine. Okay, these are 8,000 steps. If I'm doing biking, well, I guess I could do the same with biking. It'd be, you know... I could track it in a different way, how many calories burned on my Fitbit and stuff. Um, but anyway, so that's a bit of a change day one in my tracking of what are my maintenance goals. I mean, sorry, what, what are my maintenance calories? Um, so today I'm actually counting calories. I did something slightly different and I tried to meal prep a bit. Maybe in an odd way. But I took a bunch of meat that I knew I would eat today. And I put it in this little, you know, Tupperware container. And I measured it all out last night. And I know how many calories it is. How much protein it is. And what I'm doing is I'm, uh, I'm going to slowly eat it throughout the day. And if I finish it, which I know I will, then I'll throw some more into my calculator. This is probably going to be about 40 grams of protein. Uh, I got a burger, chicken breast, chicken thigh, and I did about 80 grams of rice and uh, 72 grams of guacamole, which my thought was, hey, I 
I dump a bunch of guacamole in this bowl and only have to measure it once, but it turns out I'm probably going to eat all this guacamole in one sitting. Um, so, we're at about 11.50. Um, oh, I, and I ate a big thing of cottage cheese, 210 grams. I did the same thing. I prepped it last night and went through it pretty quick. So, that's it for now. Let me know if anybody has an answer to this. I always wonder this about burgers. So, if I get an 80-20 burger, or burger patty, you know, 100 grams for the patty, and then I cook it on a grill, so much of that uh, juice, sorry, fat, cooks off. So then what is the calorie count on that burger? Is it still 80-20? I mean, is there in these calorie counter 80-20 beef patty cooked? I assume it's a significant amount of calorie reduction, but I don't know. And speaking of just because, I mean, it's a fat. The fat holds a ton of calories and, uh, you know, how much of that fat is actually burned off. And just speaking of that, I just made some spinach with olive oil. And a tablespoon of olive oil is 120 calories. I don't, I mean, it's like, how do you track what you actually use? How do I want to say this? Um, adding fats to, to cooking kind of is, boggles my mind of how you track that. I mean, like, am I going to weigh out how much olive oil I put in the pan? I mean, there's going to be some left in the pan. Um, and there's a big difference, though, between one tablespoon and two tablespoons, 120 calories. Let's say you're only consuming 2,500, or let's say just 2,000 calories. I mean, that's 5% of your calorie intake. Anyways, I'm just asking these questions because I am now tracking calories and I find adding fats to foods like when cooking vegetables is hard to track, but maybe I'm thinking overthinking it. Maybe I should just say, Hey, I made some vegetables. It's probably one tablespoon, you know, anyways, buckets done. Well, not done. It's being eaten. Grabbed a little spinach. <clears throat> That's where I was talking about the olive oil. Is it, you know, one tablespoon, two tablespoons? Is it a trace amount? Um, anyways, getting a little more avocado. I'm up to about 145 grams of avocado now. Sorry, I mean um, guacamole. Okay, getting after it. So one of the most difficult things of course is uh tracking like snacks so in my family we do this thing it's candy corn and uh um peanuts so what i did was i took 10 grams of candy corn and then i did um 26 grams of peanuts which is an ounce Oddly enough, is a, a good amount of calories according to the peanut jar. It is 170 calories. I mean, I know peanuts really pack a punch, but Ooh. a lot of other things I could do with 170 calories than just let it fly by like it's nothing. Anyways, it's weird putting candy corn and peanuts on a scale, but part of the game. So for dinner we had a Greek salad, rice, chicken, beef, and a little bit of wine. Gonna ice my ankle to get rid of some inflammation per the doctor's suggestion. Um, but probably what you're most interested in is the uh, calories for the day. Uh, here let me show you what warning I'm about to show you a messed up foot. Okay here we go. So there you can kind of see it's red a little bit. Some inflammation. Uh, 
anyways. So, I'm gonna dip my foot in here. So I was able to get, um, well, let me go look at the numbers. So now that I got your guys' help, um, here's where I'm at. I got my macros and my calories for the day. So I got 3,322 calories for the day and 207 grams of protein and 207 grams of carbohydrates. So obviously my carbs are probably quite low, perhaps, I don't know. So that's what the macros are, that's what my calories are. Um, interesting night, wasn't planning on it, but uh, my wife and I had uh, two glasses. We Well, we finished a bottle of wine. I had two and a half glasses, and nothing says a romantic evening like getting out your scale to measure the amount of wine you've had. But I did it, and um, I think that was something like 300 calories, give or take. Wine isn't too bad in terms of calories. Uh, also, as you saw, I had, a um, that pumpkin stuff with the, sorry, the peanuts and, and, uh, pumpkin thing, which was a lot of calories there too. All in all, that's what it is. I'm not trying to reduce calories right now. I'm just trying to track them. It's 3,322 today and 207. I'm pretty happy with that amount of protein. Okay. Talk to you guys. One last thing, um, I'll put in the comments below what I ate for the day. I kind of ended it on um, chicken, beef, kind of a mix like you saw earlier in the day. And we also had like a caprese salad with a bunch of uh, like uh, 60 grams of um, fresh mozzarella. There was a little bit of garbanzo in the meal too and olive oil on vegetables and then the rest was meat and rice which i calculated put in there um that's about it okay i gotta stop saying goodbye a couple of other things um 6886 steps it's in my goal now to get kind of less steps and rest my ankle uh and the like i already told you the calories you might be curious in the fat content, which is probably higher than you would maybe think. 155 grams of fat. So 155 grams of fat, 207 grams of protein, 207 grams of carbs. Uh, now that is officially it for the night.